I'm David Sanchez, and this is Huawei Cloud getting started. Today, we're going to talk about GaussDB, our share nothing massive parallel processing engine to provide our customers with a scalable, fully managed, out of the box data warehouse system. For more details, please keep watching. Thank you. Today, I want to demonstrate how to get started with Data Warehouse Service, DWS. On Huawei Cloud Console, I will open the DWS menu and we will proceed to create a cluster. For today's demonstration, we will use Singapore AC1. Data storage will be cloud resource, allowing us to set the storage capacity with just 100 GBs. We will use x86 architecture and three nodes. We name our cluster. Maintain the default name for the admin account. Write a secure password and leave the default port to 8000. On network options, we will deploy to our existing VPC on subnet DWS and automatically create a new security group. Since our cluster will be accessible from internet, we can create a new Elastic IP or attach an existing one. Our new cluster will be placed under the Big Data project. Since we want to enable cluster data encryption at rest, we will enable Advanced Options, enable Data Store option, and then select our encryption key. Click Next, confirm our parameters are correct, and let's provision our cluster. If you are planning to use DWS for the long term, we recommend you to use discount packages, being 35 to 45% more cost effective compared to paper use nodes. Once the cluster is provisioned, click on the arrow to expand and have a quick peek on the most important information about our cluster. On the right side, we have additional options, from scaling, performing a snapshot, backing up our data, or entering the monitoring panel. For further actions, we access our cluster by clicking the name. DWS will configure the DNS so you can access by domain name instead of using the IP. For further advanced features, you can open Workload menu to isolate workloads for different services. Snapshot menu to configure the policy for backing up our cluster. Modify cluster parameters. Configure security parameters like auditing and enforcing SSL connection. Enable connections to external MRS data sources. Let's exit our cluster. Time to connect to our cluster using the open source tool dBeaver and import some data. If you want ready to use datasets, go to connection menu, import sample database. This link will open the documentation with few sample datasets available to our customers. Today, we will use the checkpoint vehicle analysis with almost 900 million data records. First, let's open dBeaver. Create a new database connection, search for the Postgres native connector. We can access our data warehouse by using the domain name or the Elastic IP. Remember the default port is 8000. Default admin user is dbadmin and we will input our password. We test to verify all is correct and certify new database connection. Right click over the new connection, SQL editor, new SQL script. Follow the documentation to import sample datasets and perform analytical queries. Replace the access key ID and secret access key with any AKSK from any Huawei cloud user. Since our cluster is deployed on Singapore region, we replace OBS bucket with Singapore endpoint. As a summary, this SQL script will create two schemas, one internal table for storing vehicle information and a foreign table which is used to read from OBS directly. We execute all the create and import queries and wait till the data is imported. A best practice is to perform the analyze command in order to collect the statistics related to tables, helping DWS to develop an efficient query execution plan. Let's run some queries on our cluster. First, we query the data volume of the whole table. Second, we query the driving route of a vehicle by license plate number and the time segment. Third, we perform a fuzzy vehicle query. That is all for today. We hope you enjoyed this getting started with Data Warehouse Service in Huawei Cloud and look forward to your feedback. Thank you.